Hey guys, so I am doing a Project 20 Pan, Project 10 Pan completion video. Um, so I did finish my Project 20 Pan. I didn't totally finish my Project 10 Pan. I'll explain it as I go. As I go. Um, basically, I got busy. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos. And yeah, I don't know what to say. It kind of didn't go as well for me this past month. But that's why I just want to make this video kind of just finish everything out from July and half of August and just start fresh in September. So I hope you guys understand. So I'm going to start with my Project 10 Pan items because that's the basket that was on top. So for Project 20 Pan, I completed seven items. Sorry, I'm looking down. My desk is a absolute crazy mess right now. So I'm just kind of trying to get stuff out of the way. So, um, Let's talk about the things I finished first. So this is my Largeller Spackle. It's in the color Champagne. This is the two ounce size. I got this in some kit from QVC. It was an okay primer. It wasn't super silicone-y, but it wasn't really thin like a serum or anything. I have no idea if it did anything or not. Meh. I'm never really sure with serums or with primers. I really have no idea whether they ever work for me or not. Um, another thing that I finished for my project 10 pan round two that I had done was I wanted to hit pan on tees, which I have successfully done. You can see there, look at all that panage. So I definitely hit pan on tees. I did not finish Foxy, um, as an eyeshadow. I crushed it up and mixed it in with one of my face powders. Hey, it was a way to use it up and I was just sick of looking at it in here, honestly. So... I haven't been using this in a long time. I just needed a break from it. So I took a break from it, but I did hit pan on tees first. And I still like that. I still enjoy that palette. There's nothing wrong with it. I also finished my Revlon Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake. The bottom of it cracked and fell out. The same thing that happened with my Cupcake one. It was down like to about here. And you could see it was like loose where the plastic was meeting. The lip of the plastic met the... Um, lip butter. It was loose and it just fell out the one day. These are super old. I tried to look up. I got them when they first came out, which I think was in 2011. So they're getting three years old at this point. That's pretty old for a lip product. So I'm really trying to work on those right now. I also finished the uh, deluxe sample of Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation in I'm Pure For Sure Ivory. This was nice. This actually didn't take me long to finish it at all. I thought there was more product in here than there was. It was okay. Would I go buy it? No. I prefer different formulations for um, foundation than that. I also finished the First Aid Beauty or Fab uh, Ultra Repair Cream. I was using this as a hand cream. This past winter I had used it as a face lotion like when I was really windburnt and like chapped from the wind because it was crazy cold this year. This is a really nice moisturizer if you have, I would say, normal to dry skin and uh, you're sensitive or you don't want to spend a lot of money or it's like your first time using a moisturizer and you don't want to use Clinique or something. So it's a really popular um, moisturizer at Sephora where I work. So. That's kind of what I know about it. And its active ingredient is colloidal oatmeal. And that's what it uses to help heal the skin and protect it. And that's why they say it's good for use at, for eczema too. So I used it on my hands. It worked fine as a hand cream. It worked okay as a face cream for me. Honestly, I just prefer better, like diff, not better, but different formulations. So the other two things, I think only one of these was in my Project 10 Pan, but whatever, I'll show them both to you right now, were the Urban Decay Anti-Aging and Urban Decay Eden. Um, yeah, this one's really messy because I was using the Dior Air Flash Foundation when I was using this, and that is so messy. I can't even. Like, I stopped using it because I'm like, this is so messy. I have to clean the sink every time I do my makeup. But yeah, so these were just little uh, primer samples that came in my Naked 3. They were nice. I didn't actually like the texture of the anti-aging one too much. It was kind of watery and like separated, just not my ideal formulation. And I actually didn't like Eden this time either. And I have Eden in um, 
like the old full size Eden and I really love it but I did not like did not care for it like that so thankfully those are done the last three things I have are the things I didn't finish so I did not finish buxom lip gloss in Bambi I think it's about down to the X it was jostled around just now so it got all jostled and on the sides and stuff I just honestly wasn't in the mood to wear lip gloss I don't know and I did not finish my yes two carrots see me smile lip butter and mint there is still a ton left um, and actually I've had I've gotten like more lip balms recently so that's probably why I hadn't been giving enough attention to that and I did not, I don't even think I used this once actually, which is really pathetic. The Bosha Beauty Oil Sample, it's a Sabutsi oil. This does smell really good. I like how it smells, but I think I stuck it in my eyeshadow drawer over here. And I totally forgot about it because it was sitting like this. I don't even think I realized what it was in there when I was opening the drawer. And it wasn't with my skincare stuff, so I never used it. So, that's my story for that. Let me just put this basket down. Yeah, I'm watching Netflix. And then get my other basket for my Project 20 pan, which I did finish. And I am really excited that I finished this Project 20 pan. I don't know. I'm just really excited. So I'm just going to show you what I finished. These were all things on the list. I don't remember the other things that were on the list. And honestly, like this video is so overdue, it's not even funny. So I'm just going to tell you what I finished. Um, that was in the Project pan. So. Evian spray travel size I like it for just not setting my makeup but just taking down the powder and refreshing my skin Bath and Body Works Aruba coconut shower gel that was nice but I find it quite drying Maybelline fit me concealer in 15 fair it's still too dark for me and 10 is actually darker I think than 15 and in, in my mind and it's like a different undertone um, but it's a decent concealer. It didn't wow me, but it wasn't crap. Uh, NARS Sheer Glow in Siberia. This was before they uh, had the pumps for it, so I did purchase the pump separately. This was actually really nice. I remember like I bought this and I didn't like it and then I liked it again and then I didn't like it and then when I finally was finishing up I liked it again. So I don't think I'd repurchase because there's just other foundations I want to try, but it ended up being a pretty decent one. Ola Henriksen body scrub honestly this stuff is so old I'm surprised there isn't like mold growing on it um, that's gross um, that was okay I prefer other body scrubs uh, Mally eyeshadow stick in Twilight this was totally finished you can see I think part of it broke off on that one too I really liked this and I have been trying to work on another Mally shadow stick in smoke I think it's called do not like that it is not as good as this one so this might be a hit or miss product it might be color uh, the formula might depend on which color you get but this one is really nice and I liked this one would I buy it for full price separately by itself no I might look though uh, for when QVC does their Christmas and holiday sets if they have a set of the shadow sticks like they had last year that's my mom got that and like we kind of split it up so that's where I got the smoke one from so I might look for something like that again to have Twilight in in particular because it's a really beautiful color uh, matte cream sheen in boy bait I can back to Mac this this was okay it didn't stay on my lips very long I would not repurchase there's better lip glosses that are less expensive out there Pure Grace Body Lotion, this was nice, very moisturizing. I like the scent of the Pure Grace stuff, um, so I liked that. Sorry, I'm trying to get this out without knocking my camera over. Okay, so Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. This is one of the things I hadn't finished the last time I talked to you guys, which was eons ago. So that's totally done. I have another one of these because it was like the buy two for the price of one thing that they used to have at Target. Um, I liked it, but I repurchased it. I'm almost definitely sure no, because at this point, I'm over it, and I still have another one to use, so. <clears throat> it was a good mask. I think I prefer to have my protein and my moisture 
conditioner separate. So I, I prefer having like the Joyco K-Pack Reconstructor and then have a moisturizing mask, which right now I'm using like the, um, the generic value product from Sally's, the generic of the Biolage Conditioning Balm. It's one that smells like mint. And I really like doing it separately as opposed to one mask. Because then if I feel like my hair just needs moisture, I can just add moisture. If I feel like my hair needs more protein, I can kind of make sure that I really saturate the hair and kind of leave it on longer. You know, that kind of jazz. So, um, this is totally empty now. My goal for this was just to hit pan on it. This was NARS uh, Blush and Sex Appeal. I, do really, I did really enjoy this. I don't think I'll repurchase for now because I have so many blushes, but it's definitely something I would keep in mind for the future. I would love to hear any dupes, if you guys know of any dupes for NARS Sex Appeal. It's a really light matte peach shade. It's not crazy peach though. It's not like apricot or orange or anything, um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful shade. I also finished the Desert Essence Coconut Shampoo. This I kind of hated at the end. But then I started using other shampoos and I was hating them more than I was hating this. So maybe this was a really good shampoo and I just was, didn't know what I was, didn't know what I was getting. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, it's late and I'm kind of talked out, but I wanted to get this video done. Um, so yeah, I feel like maybe I was not giving this its credit due. Which is fine because I've got a couple more of them for to use up. So I can just go ahead and use those up and see if I still hate it or not. Uh, a mini Love Chloe fragrance. This was nice. I, I liked this. I didn't love it. Um, I have no plans to purchase any fragrances for a long time because I have way too many. Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Porcelain. I really liked this. Um, it sat in my collection for quite a long time. But I really liked this. Sorry, I had to turn my light back on. It's a whole nother thing. Um, maybe I'll address it in another video. So yeah, I really like the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton. I am definitely considering purchasing it in the future. Sorry, I'm going to hopefully see if I can get that to stay on. So I would con definitely, um, I already am considering purchasing it in the future because it was such a nice finishing powder. I didn't use it by itself. I always used it over top of a liquid foundation, but that is my preference uh, as to how I, wear, how I like to wear my makeup. The last product from my Project 20 pan was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Brightener. This was really nice. What I loved about it was if I had any too much darkness in here, like for my eyeshadow, which I get sometimes, I could just use a smidge of this and it would like cover it up magically. Like no matter if it was cream, if it was powder, if it was you know, really dark or like a colorful eyeshadow. This was just seemed to be magic at literally erasing darkness, whether it was from eyeshadow, from dark circles, from just shadowing on my face. So I did quite like that and I really liked the consistency of it. It had a very thin consistency and you definitely did not need a powder over top of this to make it stay. I usually still did because I just like to do all the steps that you can do in a makeup routine, but this was quite nice. I would definitely recommend checking this out if you've never checked it out. I would recommend this over the Fit Me Concealer if you want a concealer or brightener to look at. Um, I will say though, I would like to try the Armani Corrector. Um, I'm using the Pixie one right now and I do not care for that one. I actually think I might just chuck it because I find it more bother than it's worth. Okay. So I think those were all 30 of my items from Project 20 Pan and Project 10 Pan. Again, my apologies for uh, lateness, lack of quality, rambling, however you may see it fit. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm hoping to make another video tonight with my empties just because I still have been saving my empties and I just need to get them out of here because the box is full. It is a full box of empties. I don't have a bag, a box of empties. I mean these were in there too and I guess I'll, I'll show them in my empties video but uh, very just very briefly so anyway thank you for watching.
I have been trying to keep up with most people's videos. I haven't been able to totally keep up. But if I missed anything or if you're project panning or doing lots of empties or use it ups or whatever you want to call it, please let me know because I don't search for them anymore. I usually just go on whatever is related, you know, whatever shows up in the, in the feed. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you later.